Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the in-depth series. My name is Pooja Devedi and today we are going to discuss the Raman effect. Very important from the perspective of GS Mains paper 3rd, we are also going to discuss the life of TV Raman. Then the voyage that was significant in him giving or propounding the Raman effect. What is the Raman effect and the importance of the discovery? We are going to discuss from the perspective of the examination. GS means as well as prelims. C. V. Raman was born to a family of Sanskrit scholars in Trichy, in that is present day Tiruchirappalli in Tamil Nadu, and that was in the year 1888. At the age of only 16, he received a BA degree from the Presidency College in Madras. He was pursuing his MA degree at the age of 18, and then at the age of 18, he got published in the Philosophical Magazine, which was the first research paper ever published by the Presidency College. So, this is one of the biggest achievements. In 1907, he got married and settled down in Calcutta as an assistant accountant general. Because of ill health before he got married, he wanted to travel abroad, but that couldn't be done. Moving on, while still he was a full time civil servant, he began after hours research at the Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science. At the age of 29, he finally resigned from his civil services job and took the professorship in Presidency College only of Calcutta. Moving on, now the voyage that changed his entire life. Now, by 1921, C. V. Raman had gained solid reputation as a top scientist mind, both in scientific mind, both in India as well as abroad. He made his first journey to England. Only when he was returning from England, when he was going through the Mediterranean Sea. He got fascinated by the deep blue sea color of the sea, of course. By then, it was a well established fact for the people existent back, existing back then that the color of the sea is actually the reflection of the sky, which he was not buying. Okay, he was very um, dissatisfied with this. He started doing research upon it and soon found out that the color of the sea was the result of the scattering of sunlight by water molecules. That means the water molecules have something in them that changes the entire color of the sea. That means the light, when it reacts, the energy of the light changes. So, Raman and his collaborators in Calcutta, they began to conduct extensive research and experiments upon that. Now, Raman effect came into existence because of that. What is it? Raman effect is the phenomenon in which when a stream of light passes through a liquid, the a fraction of the light scattered by the liquid is of different color. And this difference of color is the Raman effect. This happens due to the change in the wavelength in li of light that occurs when the light beam is deflected by the molecules. So, water molecules are deflecting this light because either the light can reflect or refract but the energy of the light is changing because of the molecules and when the light is scattered is if the particle it interacts with is able to change the light that means everything depends upon the molecule of the water and how it changes how it is scattered is depending on the molecule of water the energy changes of the light so the Raman effect is when the change in the energy of the light is affected by the vibration of the molecule or the material that is under observation that could be glass, that could be water and that leads to change in its wavelength. So, the wavelength of the light changes because of the change in energy which is done upon reacting with the object that is under question that could be either water, glass, etc, etc. So, Raman because of this would go on to verify these observations using a spectroscope. And he published the quantitative findings in the Indian Journal of Physics on March 31st, 1928, as early as that. And in their first report to Nature, which was titled A New Type of Secondary Reflection, not primary but secondary reflection, there were two authors, C. V. Raman and his co author was K. S. Krishnan. So, 60 different liquids were studied and all showed the same result that a tiny fraction of scattered light had a different color than the incident light. Incident light is the light which is the primary light which is striking the surface and then the scattered light is the secondary one. So, the fraction 
uh, changes, a fraction of that light changes and it is different from the incident light and it is thus a phenomenon whose universal nature can be recognized. So, it was a very big phenomenon to be understood. Now, the character of the scattered radiation enables us to obtain an insight into the ultimate structure of scattering substances that could range from universe as well. For quantum theory, it was a big leap. The discovery would also find its use in chemistry. Raman spectroscopy as a basic analytical tool has been used to conduct non-destructive chemical analysis for both organic and in inorganic compounds as well. Moving on, now within the, with the invention of lasers and the capabilities to concentrate much stronger beams of light, the usage of Raman spectroscopy has only ballooned over time. It was even used in the COVID-19. If you know how, you can comment about it in the comment section. So, that's it. Thank you so much for watching.